This is Captain Ross at 3B's Captain School. In this video, we're going to cover navigation rules of the road, rule 35. All right, these are objectives for rule 35. State what signal is sounded by a power driven vessel in or near restricted visibility when making way through the water. State what signal is sounded by a power driven vessel in or near restricted visibility when underway but stopped or not making way. Six conditions. When a vessel would sound one prolonged blast followed by two short blasts in or near restricted visibility. State what signal is sounded by a vessel engaged in fishing when at anchor and a vessel restricting her ability to maneuver when carrying out her work at anchor in or near restricted visibility. State what signal is sounded by a manned vessel being towed. State what signal is sounded by a vessel at anchor in or near restricted visibility. State what signal is sounded by a vessel of 100 meters or more in length at anchor in or near restricted visibility. State what whistle signal may be sounded by a vessel at anchor in or near restricted visibility to give warning of its position. State what signal is sounded by a vessel at ground in or near restricted visibility. And state what additional signal may be sounded by a pilot vessel when engaged in pilotage duty in or near restricted visibility. All right, so sound signals and restricted visibility. In or near an area of restricted visibility, so you don't have to actually be in, say, the fog bank, but if you're alongside it or near it, where there may be vessels obstructed from your view in that fog bank, you have to sound these signals. Power-driven vessel making way through the water, so you're moving through the water, shall sound at intervals of not more than two minutes. So you can't go any longer than two minutes between these signals. One prolonged blast. A power driven vessel underway but stopped and making no way through the water shall sound at intervals of not more than two minutes. Two prolonged blasts in succession with an interval of about two seconds between them. All right, so the six conditions that we discussed in the objectives there for when a vessel is going to sound one prolonged and two short, um, if the vessel has is towing, not under command, fishing, constrained by draft, restricted ability to maneuver, or under sail. So any of those six conditions plus restricted visibility they sound one prolonged and two short blasts at intervals not to exceed two minutes. So continue with these sound signals and restricted visibility. We just discussed those six conditions that you do one prolonged, two short every two minutes. If you're towing and the vessel that you're towing or the barge or the whatever you're towing is manned, so there's someone on board, they follow up your one prolonged and two short with one prolonged and three short. So you want them to follow this up pretty soon after, immediately after you sound the signal if you're the towing boat. So this is a manned, towed vessel. All right, so now we're going to talk about vessels at anchor. So a vessel at anchor shall at intervals of not more than one minute. So when we're underway, and just for a quick review, underway, you're not at anchor, aground, or made fast to shore. So if you're underway, those sound signals and restricted visibility are at two minute intervals. At anchor, it's one minute intervals. And so if you're a vessel at anchor, 
at an interval of not more than one minute, ring the bell rapidly for about five seconds. If your vessel is 100 meters or more in length, the bell shall be sounded in the fore part of the vessel, and immediately after the ring of the bell, the gong shall be sounded rapidly for about five seconds in the after part or back of the vessel. A vessel at anchor may, in addition, sound three blasts in succession, namely one short, one prolonged, and one short to give warning of her position and of the possibility of collision with the approaching vessel. So let's do that sound signal for a vessel over 100 meters first. And let's say after sounding that, you notice a vessel approaching your position and you want to warn them, give them an additional signal. So you can do one short, one prolonged, one short on your whistle. So vessels less than 20 meters, remember, are not required to carry a bell. But if the vessel does not have a bell on board, they have to make some other efficient sound signal at intervals of not more than two minutes. So using your whistle, you try to make a bell signal, or you got to make some efficient signal telling other vessels that you're anchored in restricted visibility because you're not required to carry the bell. Okay, these next two differ a little bit when they're anchored. A vessel engaged in fishing when at anchor and a vessel restricting her ability to maneuver when carrying out work at anchor shall instead of the signals prescribed for other vessels sound one prolonged and two short. Pilot vessel engaged in pilotage duty may, in addition to the signals prescribed, which would be you know prolonged if they're underway making way, too prolonged if they're underway not making way, or the bell if they're anchored, shall sound an identity can sound an identity signal consisting of four short blasts. That was a signal for a pilot vessel underway, making way on pilotage duty. All right, so a vessel aground. If you're aground, you give the bell signal, and if required, which would be required if you're over 100 meters, you should give the gong. And then additionally, because you're aground, you're not just at anchor, you're going to give three separate and distinct strokes of the bell immediately before and after rapid ringing of the bell. So this is what it sounds like, and uh, excuse my sound mixing abilities, but this is my attempt at three short, three separate distinct strokes of the bell, rapid ring of the bell, and then three distinct strokes on the bell. So this is if you're a ground. If you're over a hundred meters and a ground, three separate distinct strokes of the bell, rapid ring of the bell, three strokes of the bell, and then rapid ringing of the gong. All right, so now we've got a couple of additions for inland waters. Vessels should not be required to sound signals prescribed the bell gong when anchored in a special anchorage designated by the Coast Guard. So these are the vessels. A vessel of less than 20 meters in length and a barge, canal boat, scow, or other nondescript craft. So that's only an in inland and that's when they're in a special anchorage which has been designated by the Coast Guard. This concludes this video on navigation rules of the road rule 35. Please check our YouTube channel for all of our other videos.